Why doesn't DK just take that nice path right there and said he's like, no way, man, I gotta go over to that mountain to the right and screw around with these vines. That'll be fun. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, trademark. Right, I already did that thing. <laughs> anyway, we're up to uh, 3B, Bramble Scramble, kind of doing the levels out of order, but who really cares? <laughs> well, that was actually a, a really quick load. That only must have taken like under 10 seconds. <laughs> anyway, though, so... Bramble, yeah, pretty cool level. Not much to it though. The, I guess the gi gimmick is like stuff only appears once you like go over to it, and um, there's vines everywhere, but you, the vines don't really affect anything because they're all in the background. <laughs> anyway, though, what I want to talk about is so the previous episode, episode uh, 11, I believe, was the first episode of Donkey Kong Country I've uploaded that did not get claimed by Nintendo. So, uh, if you have no idea what that's all about, let me just explain real quickly. Uh, basically, a while back, I think it was actually in 2014, the year this came out, uh, Nintendo did this thing where they basically, you know, said, well, we're gonna, like, claim all stuff on YouTube, it's our stuff, and blah, blah, blah. We're gonna make money off your stuff. And, of, co of course, everyone on the internet's like, oh, fuck Nintendo, they're the worst company ever. Blah, 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 even though this barely affects me, because it's not like I actually upload things to YouTube, but still, Nintendo, worst company ever. <laughs> oh, anyway though, um, here's the real story, like, um, ooh, get that banana. <laughs> so, basically what's been going on is I think that Nintendo sort of realized that, um, like, you know, people didn't like this whole claiming video thing, so they've kind of just stopped, like, all, pretty much all of Yoshi's Woolly World and all, every, like, every single Mario Maker video I've put up did not get claimed, and, um, like, especially Mario Maker. Like, Mario Maker is ridiculously easy to claim, considering it's, like, you know, all 2D images and stuff. Ooh, nice hilly hidden vine here, by the way. So the fact that that didn't get claimed, for me, that pretty much outright says, yeah, we're, we're not claiming videos anymore. But, of course, all of the, um, the old, you know, claims are still up. So if you play a game that went up, you know, when they start this claim crap, then it will still get claimed, but, like, new stuff, they don't care about that anymore. <laughs> Yeah, you, you can kill these guys by slamming, by the way. Uh, it took me a while to figure that out. <laughs> so I'll just take a hit from them uh, in my previous playthrough. <laughs> Alright, so is that all I want to talk about that subject? Uh, Nintendo claims videos. Not anymore. Uh, I also, well, I kind of wanted to talk about how, like, kind of, well, I already sort of mentioned it, but people are overblowing this, like, so bad. Like, people, are, like, on, you know, Reddit and stuff are literally saying, like, Oh my god, this is like the worst thing ever, and even though, like I just said, even though it doesn't affect me because it's not like I upload things to YouTube, like seriously, not even like 5% of people who play these games upload stuff to YouTube. So it's like, oh yeah, it's still like the worst thing ever, like, it, oh my god. <laughs> I don't know, you, you guys, you, you know what I mean, right? You know, like, I'm, the, it's funny because it, uh, it affects me, yet I'm the guy who doesn't give a shit about it, which is kind of funny, I don't know. Like, you know, there was that whole fiasco with Angry Joe where he put up a Mario Party 10, uh, video and it got claimed and he, like, you know, had a spaz, but I guess for him I can sort of understand because he does make a living on, uh, this kind of stuff. But, uh, yeah, everyone else, like, shut up, it doesn't affect you. <laughs> you can jump on these guys, by the way, if, when their mouths are shut, if, like, because you think you wouldn't be able to, but you can. <laughs> alright, alright, so that's all I want to talk about with that subject, so... Wow, this level's so great. Oh, look at the look at this here. It's a, I love this, because this is a way a bonus... Well, not a bonus, but well, a, a bonus, yeah, would be hidden in the original Donkey Kong currency. This is one banana. You go down, it shoots you to a barrel or something, and there's a bonus. Uh... Yeah, original Donkey Kong Country had no, like, collectibles in level. That game... Only, well, unless you count the Kong letters, which I don't really, because you didn't need them at all in that game. Well, you didn't need the Kong letters at all in any of the original trilogy. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it was only really Donkey Kong Country 2 and 3 that had collectibles outside of bonuses in the form of DK coins. Which, I like DK coins. You know, people like rack on 3, but I... I sort of like what they did with 3, where they made it so that DK coins are always held by those coin guys. Because in Donkey Kong Country 2, DK coins could be hidden in, like, really stupid-ass locations. But they kind of fixed it in, a. Uh, you know, three, since they always have to be held by a guy, so like, in water levels, like, those guys can't be underwater, so they always have to be at the end of the level. So, 
also, you know, which means, oh, you don't have to go hunting for the DK coin, because it has to be held by a guy. Whereas, like, Donkey Kong Country 2 has them in, like, stupidly bullshit hidden locations. This is another bonus, isn't it? God, they're just... <laughs> they're not really hidden in this level. They'll, they sort of are, but it's like, ooh, there's some leaves in the way. Oh. Oh, I can't possibly find this. <laughs> um, yeah, bonuses. Bonuses, bonuses, bonuses. They suck in this game. They don't suck in... <laughs> I, I just I gotta keep talking about this because it's such a it's such a glaring thing you know it's like every episode we play every episode I record or we play or whatever we play at least like you know like three or five or four or whatever bonuses or some bullshit and it's like it's always the same thing it sucks and I just have to keep reiterating bonuses didn't suck in the original trilogy <laughs> um you know. Uh, as I'll just quote myself, as I said in that video, the, the bonuses in Donkey Kong Country 1, the first one, they were pretty shit too, but, um, you know, they, it's, it's, in Donkey Kong Country 1, they sort of were comparable to the bonuses in this game, but in Donkey Kong Country 1, while mechanics of bonuses repeated, they were always, you know, getting more challenging, like, you have, like, say you had to jump on, like, a claptrap or something, the claptrap would always like increase in speed or require more hits or something. I get all the puzzle pieces. Yep, all seven. Huh. <laughs> I just kind of got them all. And boom. Yes, they were always getting harder. I'm like, you know, it always had that one where like letters floating around. The letter chains always got longer and faster. And it was pretty fun in its own way. Uh, this level is really funny. I this is a funny world. Let me explain. <laughs> Okay, we're going to play three levels in a row that all have to do with the Bramble levels from Donkey Kong Country 2, okay? First we played this, which had the music. Then we played that, which actually had Bramble in it. And now we're going to play Canyon Canyon, which has something else in it from the Bramble levels in Donkey Kong Country 2. Well, I mean, if the level name didn't, like, you know, outright reveal it, this level has, <laughs> like, barrel explosion marathons, you know? Bramble Scramble. I, I, I wonder if they did that on purpose. They were like, well, we sort of want to copy... I don't want Diddy, by the way. <laughs> well, we sort of want to copy, um, you know, these Bramble levels, but hmm, let's not make it too obvious, so let's spread out the elements. Music in this stage, actual, like, thorns in this stage, and the uh, canon gameplay in the stage right after it. Okay, yep. <laughs> Done. <laughs> don't worry not bonus, by the way, because bonuses are fun. Well, hey, if I can give him one thing, you know, you kind of get out of him just as fast as you get into them. <laughs> but unfortunately, this is another level that has, like, uh, five puzzle pieces, yep, but only friggin' two... Uh... Bon well, two bonuses. <laughs> oh, this level is pretty special to me, though, because if you watch that... Again, I'm gonna talk about this. Oh, shit. Yeah, <laughs> I got hit by that. But again, if you saw that video, you'll know one of my main things I complained about is if you're playing... If, you, if you're, um, playing Dixie Solo, like, see... Well, you can't really see, but if I press down, DK will duck instantly. But if you're playing as Dixie Solo, um, then if you want to duck, she, you have to actually, like, wait for her to stop running before she will duck. And, like, this got me... When you're playing in hard mode, you know, you get, you get killed in one hit, so you're trying to figure out what the hell's going on. And what was going on is the fact that I was not ducking, and, like, I had to figure that out, and it was really pissing me off, and... Oh, I can't stay mad at this level, though. It's just so nice. You know, you get to zoom around these 3D environments. Like, you think, if only they made it, like, a 3D platform, like, that, wouldn't that be interesting? Like, this environment... Oh, shit, I missed the coin. Well, we better not miss this. <laughs> that was close. But, you know, you could just... I could imagine myself running around this level in a 3D environment. Well, I mean, it is a 3D environment, but... <laughs> well, letting me run around in a 3D plane, whereas I'm stuck to a 2D plane. Unless it's like automatic, like, you know, I'm automatically going on barrels. Uh, pick this bomb up. Bombs away, actually. Before I go in there, let me pull this hook, because I, t I totally missed that. So here we have bonus number two. It's pretty damn close to the first one. Isn't this... Okay, alright, I'm, I'm going crazy. I swear, wasn't the other bonus this one? And if that bonus wasn't this one, then it was one uh, in the other level. Alright, alright, that's just... No, I, I don't think it was. Ugh. I'm, I don't know what else to say, because if I, if I just complain about bonuses more, it's just going to be me saying the same shit over and over again. So, you know what? Let's kill this guy and, like, th throw this bomb at that guy and 
hit me, so now I only have one life. Your what's like I'm playing hard mode now. So I guess I guess wood wood isn't like uh the stone, you know, the screaming tiki. Wood arm will break when it touches the ground. So this here you gotta be pretty swift. Don't shoot into the bombs, otherwise you'll die. Shoot quickly there, otherwise you'll the log will fall on you and you'll die. Uh, yeah, they, yeah, they really don't give you much time here to figure out what's going on. You'll most likely die there on your first time. Coin, 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 coin. Heart, I'll take that. We're almost at the end, though, I think. I see that N there. Boing. There we go, N. Nice. <laughs> I swear, DK is like a pinball or something. Now, where's that last puzzle piece? You can actually see it from here. Look, you see it? It's behind... It's like, look in the middle of the ring, you can see it there. Of course, I still have to get this G too, you have to have good... Oh, G! <laughs> it's, good. it's a good thing I had good timing to get the G. And we just... <laughs> Another puzzle piece hidden like that, and that's 5 out of 5. That's a pretty short level. I guess they really couldn't come up with much about the barrel mechanic. Hmm, I'm kind of surprised I actually didn't do, uh, like, you know, like, <laughs> the barrels in Donkey Kong Country 2, like, it's just a bunch of barrels on a 2D plane. They seemed insistent on having only one barrel to go to. Hmm. Oh, well. I guess they liked it their way better. Any <laughs> this is kind of a short episode, but, uh, I could do another level, but since next episode we'll do that level, then, you know, the K level, then the boss, so we'll, you know, we'll get the world done. I don't... <laughs> um... And it feels weird just like going to a new world and playing like the first level, like we did with um, world, well this world, we didn't do it with world 2, <laughs> anyway though. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's all I guess, next time we'll take on Rickety Rafters. I don't remember much about this level, it must be pretty unmemorable. <laughs> or you could say it must be Rickety. I didn't say that. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.